that's absolutely brilliant. I, I, I believe in a like right now. Oh, hello there, people of the internet. My gravy babies, my Isaro Prududians. It's, uh, I don't have a name for you. I literally don't have a name for you guys. How about you're all a bunch of cunt. Considerably nice people. And today we're back in the world of Victoria 2 with what essentially feels like a Hearts of Iron 4 mod episode from like a year ago. That's right. Well, so everyone kept telling me to play Byzantium, but it's actually not in HPM, so I have to get a mod that re-enables it. But apparently it is re-enable in the options, it just doesn't have any flavor. I don't know. What, you, you saw the title, God damn it! you know what's happening. Uh, funny thing, my last Victoria 2 video, actually got on the trending page. Eight-year-old economics map game is trending. It'd be really funny if we somehow got this video to number one on trending, give every single person watching the video right now scroll down, hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button. Just because I'd really like to see Victoria 2 right next to Fortnite. And guys, just hit the like button. We can do it collectively. We can make Victoria 2. <laughs> Battle Royale! Unfortunately, there's not really an easy way to get this Byzantine Empire back on track. We're gonna have to really play the slow, long, Greek game. If you look at that, the 19th century map game in the Victorian era is actually quite, quite right. Because we have the technological ability as Greece in 1836 as a rock. I'm pretty sure we haven't even invented the wheel. Ah, but who needs technological advancement when you have baskets of fruit? You know what I'll say? First step in conquering the world as a small power in Victoria 2. Gotta start writing a couple poems. Not before visiting the old Bank of Africa, though, because, uh, this is a bit too realistic right now. Oh, yeah, well... Sure are in Greece, boys. Oh god, it just keeps going up and up and up. Yeah, really gonna need to get that money uh, a ASAP. Re real ASAP. Oh jeez, not a second sooner. I, I was pretty sure I was about to get a call from like Angela Merkel any second. Yeah, my one true friend in the world, Sokoto. Yeah, Sokoto in Greece, the, the worst sitcom ever made. Some of you eager-eyed viewers may have already realized that I am not Byzantium right now and I'm not even on my way to becoming them. But don't worry, with a couple full flag attacks on Turkish soil, I'll get right to it. So yeah, we just sort of sit around, cause tension in the Turkish lands that we have cause on and hope to God no one's willing to have a world war over this land, but it's a Victoria 2 AI, so you never know. Ah, oh, yes. More delicious fruit for the fruit kingdom! The Greeks can't really beat anyone on their own level, so we're just sort of beating up Africa. We're barely winning. So I know it's a little mean that's happening right now. When we're not waiting for a crisis going off, I can actually go ahead and start declaring war on the Ottomans now because I've got myself a big old... BEAR TO DO ALL THE WORK FOR ME! That's right. I'm a Putin bot. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I... think, though, it's, um... It's a little one-sided. I slightly shot myself in the foot there. I started a crisis, not for my land, but, um... God damn it! We'll do it the hard way then, where I do nothing and Russia beats you up for like five minutes until you give in and give me all my land. Oh, there you go. Uh, Bulgaria pieced out, sort of, of Austria, but look at us! Just how Byzantium used to be. Oh yeah, during that war, I also got great power, by the way. Uh, th those poems, they're really paying off. Because uh, I'm great power, I, can, I think I can no longer actually boost tension in these Turkish provinces anymore. But that's no problem, because I've got Russia. And as long as Russia joins my wars, it's going to be an easy piece of cake. Russia didn't join. Doesn't matter, though. I just mobilized all the Bulgarian farmers, and they're doing a swell job all on their own. Why the hell? is Brazil in Albania. Well, we're starting to look like something, and at the same time, Austria's starting to look like... Bernat. Now, apparently our colony in Europa is a model colony, which, uh... It's probably actually more decadent than our homeland right now. Oh, and we just got like another model colony. Oh my god. The Byzantines are the best colonizers in the entire world. Confirm. Keep going in and out of prestige at the moment because I, I keep running out of ideas for poems. Wait a second, how the hell did they release Albania? I own Albania. Excuse me? I'm getting some major deja vu right now. I just got another event about my colonies being amazing, and it just gives me more and more prestige. I, I've got to the point where I'm actually forming a formidable empire from poetry 
and R. Ah, oh, so I'm back all the Artmans, and I finally just got my decision, which is the Megali idea, which gives me a bunch of cores all over the Artman land. Five in for me, but it's totally worth it. Historically, though, this didn't go too well for Greece. Oh my god, we even found a dead guy wrapped up in cloth. Prestige! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all we're going to be needing for our little experimente called Byzantium. Little anticlimactic, but Byzantium's back. I had to technically cheat because the way that this mod works that I'm using is, um, it's slightly broken, but it's, you can see. Uh, it, don't worry, Byzantium's here, that's all that matters. Conveniently, I also just got the event chain that leads to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> no. More prestige! I actually cemented my way into great powers now just by all of these press. 91 prestige! Oh, just casually, 10% of the people in Albania just died. It's scrambling time. So a little funny thing I've just noticed is uh, if I declare war on Egypt right now because the scramble's going on, I I've actually got an unlikely ally who will join me. Even though Egypt is in their own sphere. That's, that's some real British logic right there. But it's 1888 and technically I've only just started researching the next thing past flintlock rifles. We are still using muskets. So yeah, in space of like four years, I went from flicklock muskets to machine guns. Well, that that doesn't look too fun, does it? How how the hell did I get involved in this? Surprisingly, considering the fact my army's only been trained with flintlock muskets and we've only recently just gave them machine guns, we're, we're absolutely demolishing the British. A secret to warfare doesn't matter if you guys are completely incompetent. Just hide on a mountain. Does does absolute wonders. Uh, who's gonna clean these dead 56,000 British people off this mountain? I don't wanna do it. I will be taking that one though. Interestingly enough, after that war, I just finished battleships. I have no actual means to produce battleships because I haven't built any of the naval bases. So I like to think, uh, you know, some great people just saw a German or British battleship during that war and were like, you know what? I think we could probably build one of those. So now our infamy is low enough, we can take these events, which basically gives us cores on most of, like, the Balkans and Anatolia. So we can just go ahead and start eating land. It's free real estate. I mean, the land, in all better sense of the word, is completely useless, but you gotta, you gotta take what you gotta take. Oh my god, no. At some point, Germany killed Banat. What the hell? Bring back Banat! Even with, like, Montenegro out of the way, I, I'm sorry, but we look absolutely disgusting. Oh, I actually completely forgot they also have like one tiny province I can also get off Romania. I also ended up taking Wallachia and now Romania looks really sad. Oh, there's a great war going on right now. Britain, Italy, Ottomans versus... You. That's a really weird great war. I mean, well, I'm gonna go to war the Ottomans while this is happening. Uh, no one's looking. Now, I don't want to say this is historically inaccurate for the time period, but... <laughs> Why? So after taking all the Balkans and Anatolia from the Ottomans, we now get a bunch of prestige and all the names get changed to Greek names, which is just, isn't that dandy? Oh my, I'm really happy and my, my history took 200% assimilation rate. The uh, best thing about a great war happening is if you're not part of it, you make a hell of a lot of money. They also have no idea when Portuguese Algeria became a thing, but it did somehow. Well, the Great War is now Britain, Italy, and Ottomans just versus the USA, and uh, <laughs> I, I, apparently I could get involved, but no, I'm, I'm good, fan. Oh god, Romania's gone fascist, and they look even smaller. Like, I'm so, I'm so sorry, what have I done? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that America lost the Great War. It just cost me two infamy to conquer the rest of the Ottoman Empire. Hmm. I don't want to say that that's a little bit overpowered, but I guess <laughs> we look disgusting. Yeah, not as disgusting as I imagine America's probably looking right now. I've not been looking for um, a reason. Oh, I can officially recognize the CSA, so the Confederates are back, and sure, why, why the hell not? Let's give it a... I think you're missing a bit. Meanwhile, sneak attack on California by the Byzantine Empire! That's the worst thing I've ever said in my life. Oh, this is how you know you finally jumped the shark. We've really done it. Jesus Christ, America. How many things can you just spit out of your dying corpse? I knew that alliance with Germany would pay off one day. That war was over so quick because um, I'm going to zoom out and just show you Russia right now. 
that's what Germany did to them. That's all their troops. Right, that's that's going to be it for today in Victoria 2. It's probably going to be on a, a shorter episode than usual. Um, that's because um, there's not really much to do with Byzantium slash Greece. It was very much just sitting around and waiting for prestige and events and stuff like that. But we, we reformed Byzantium and Victoria 2. Probably the worst thing you can possibly do in this game. I understand why they took it out of HPM. It, it, it makes no sense. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Hope you leave a like at the subscribe button and, uh, you know... 20 billion like 100,000 likes so we'll get on trending hopefully <laughs> number one spot guys number one spot on trending victoria 2 oh my god